Members of Congress aren't the only ones seeking documents from the government. A leading watchdog group is, once again, dragging the Justice Department to court in order to obtain documents that could shed light on Fusion GPS and the dossier. One America's John Hines has more from Washington. New information has come to light about the involvement of Justice Department lawyer Bruce Orr in connection with the Fusion GPS dossier. And there may soon be more corroborating documents available now that the government watchdog group Judicial Watch has filed a new lawsuit against the Justice Department for communications between Orr, his wife Nellie, Christopher Steele, and Fusion GPS. Well, it's becoming increasingly clear that Bruce Orr, who is the number four at the Justice Department, is at the center of the storm uh, when it comes to the DOJ collaborating with Fusion GPS, remember, who have been paid by the Clinton campaign and the DNC, uh, to launder dirt into the FBI and Justice Department to target Donald Trump. And that's why Judicial Watch filed this new lawsuit and why Congress is very much interested in what Bruce Orr was up to, says Judicial Watch President Tom Fitton. And this information may match up with documents showing Christopher Steele, who worked for Fusion GPS, met with the FBI at least 13 times in 2016, until he was cut loose in November, when he was deemed unsuitable, says Fitton. But what we've learned since is that Bruce Orr continued to work with Steele and was meeting with him repeatedly, taking his information and giving it back again to the FBI and DOJ. You've got Orr, who is conflicted out with dealing with uh, Fusion GPS and Steele because of his wife's employment with the agency, the Fusion GPS. Then you had the FBI, who had cut off Steele, happily taking information that, from Bruce Orr from Steele. What, what was going on? Who was running the show? Which is a key question the new documents could help answer. But getting those documents from the Department of Justice is tricky, says Fitton. The Judicial Watch is very methodical. With the Justice Department, you have to ask specifically and often to get basic information. So not to necessarily take one FOIA, it takes multiple Freedom of Information Act requests, and it doesn't take one lawsuit, it takes multiple lawsuits, for instance, just to get everything there is to be gotten on Bruce Orr, the Justice Department, Fusion GPS, Christopher Steele, and all the rest. Fitton adds that it was unusual that the Russia and Clinton investigations were run by senior leadership in the FBI and DOJ. The information Judicial Watch is seeking could help explain why. John Hines, One American News, Washington.